Yo guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can debloat Discord for up to a 20% performance boost while gaming. If you play Fortnite with Discord open, you'll know that sometimes the game can be a bit laggy. So I'm going to show you how you can fully debloat Discord right now. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is all of the Discord settings that you can change to debloat inside the actual application. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the user settings. And we're going to be changing some of the things inside. Yeah. The first thing we're going to be doing is heading down to clips and making sure that enable clipping is turned off. You don't want this inside Discord as you can use your actual clipping software and this takes up a lot of background tasks. So make sure enable clipping is turned off. The next thing you're going to do is head on over to authorize apps here and making sure that everything on here that you don't trust or don't need is deauthorized. So go through everything and everything inside here that you don't use. Make sure it's all deauthorized and if you don't trust it, make sure it's deauthorized as well. After that, head on down to appearance and make sure you're using one of these default themes like the ash theme or the dark theme. Any of these really, just make sure if you've got nitro you're not using a colour theme as this takes up so many background tasks and can make your game run slower just to make your discord look a bit nicer. So use one of these default themes and your game can run much better. Then head on down to voice and video here and then click on video at the top. Scroll all the way down until you see use video hardware acceleration and make sure this is disabled. This pop up will come up once you click off, just click OK. And just make sure video hardware acceleration is turned off. Then scroll up to the top and go to debugging and make sure that debug login is turned off. It will ask you to restart your discord, just click OK and then we'll be moving on to the next thing. So after you've turned this off, head on down to advanced and make sure hardware acceleration is turned off. You'll have to restart your Discord again for this, so just make sure it's off and click change and restart. And then the final thing you want to do inside your Discord settings is head on down to the game overlay and make sure everything in here is turned off. You don't want this over your screen as it can cause input delay and it does get in the way of your game sometimes. So just make sure everything inside here is turned off. And then I'm going to show you even more ways that you can debloat Discord. Before I go any further with the video, I just want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is an optimization service where you can get all of these different tweaks for extremely cheap. If you use my code when buying them, you get 15% off your order. So the tweaks are even cheaper than the original price. So make sure to go check this out. I'll leave it linked in the description. And don't forget code Ruffy if you're purchasing these tweaks. But back to the video, after we've done all of those settings, we're going to be clicking Windows R on our keyboard to open up the run box. And inside here, type in percentage, local app data percentage, click in enter. And then you just want to find the discord folder inside here and once you get inside this folder you want to delete the update folder and the scroll setup and then you want to head over to apps right here where you see the discord logo you want to right click this and click create shortcut and at the bottom it will create a two kilobyte shortcut instead of this 184,000 kilobyte shortcut and you just want to rename this to discord and then you want to be using this one to open discord so you can pin this to your taskbar then you want to head up to the modules folder and inside here we're going to be deleting some things that we don't need. Inside here you can delete the cloud sync folder, dispatch, ERL pack, game utils, crisp, spell check and then you can also delete discord RPC. Then after this go back and head up to locals and everything inside here is all of the languages that discord supports. So you only want to keep your language. So for me this is going to be English Great Britain. So to delete everything else, you want to click Ctrl A, hold down Ctrl on your keyboard and select the one that you use. And then you can just delete the rest. After you've done that, make sure you go over to your recycle bin and delete everything that you've just deleted. And that is how you can fully debloat Discord to get a big performance boost in Fortnite Chapter 6. If this video did help you out guys, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you guys want a personal tweaking session with me, make sure to join my Discord server. I'll leave that link in the description. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.